What's going on there folks? Good afternoon. Good Sunday afternoon. It's the Earthmaster here on the live stream. June 5th, 2022 is the date. About 2.18 p.m. California time. Latest quake shows a 1.1 earthquake into the region of Southern California. Starting to see a little bit of activity continue into today. Um, following yesterday's large scale events around the globe. Had three sixes pop off there. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity. Uh, across the map here on the USGS, 2.5 and above for the states, 4.0 uh, for international territories. Uh, we got a uh, little bit of aftershock sequences here following the uh, event yesterday, the 6.3 that struck around the Rat Islands, Aleutian Islands area. Looks like uh, a couple fours in there. I'm surprised there's not more. Uh, in fact, most of this activity occurred uh, immediately following that 6.3 so uh, not a whole lot of uh, aftershock activity today and in fact the rest of the Aleutian chain here looks pretty uh, looks pretty quiet uh, as we look over here to the east movement up here around Alaska not uh, anything out of the ordinary yet uh, I got a 2.1 around Denali National Park uh, and a couple other uh, microquakes throughout the region including some outside of Anchorage with a 3.5 some deeper movement though uh, taking note of that activity into the subduction zone uh, over here off the coast of Russia into the uh, Kuril Kamchatka trench way down there about 500 kilometers down there a 4.1 uh, occurring there in the sea a little bit of activity south of Tokyo as well along the uh, and northeastern edge of the Philippine plate Got a 4.5 and a more recent 4.4. Not a whole lot going on south here around the uh, Papua New Guinea area. Over here outside of the Java Trench, just on the north end uh, near the Andaman Sea. Looks like a 5.0 kicked up here uh, earlier this morning. About 10 kilometers for the depth of that earthquake. Around Tonga and the Kermadec Trench, things kind of... Uh, well, we're still seeing some deeper movement here in the Fiji area into the Tonga Trench region, uh, 4.3 at 532 kilometers. One aftershock sequence here uh, following yesterday's six-pointer event. Of course, that was a uh, 6.4. And then we also had a uh, pretty big one up here, 6.3, uh, just outside of Tonga. But this one into the Tonga Trench, about 237 kilometers for that uh, six-pointer yesterday. Today... Like I mentioned, just a, a couple of small quakes here. Uh, not a whole lot going on in this area of the world today. Uh, South America, about the same. A little bit of movement throughout the uh, Chile area, or Argentina, right around Chile. 4.5 and a 4.1 into that area. The Puerto Rico Trench has been showing some activity. Looks like, um, yeah, we've seen a little bit kick up here. Uh, over the course of the 24-hour period, about 13 earthquakes or so scattered out and about around the Puerto Rico region. Eastern part of the states, not a whole lot going on. Uh, Oklahoma, about the same, only a couple, a very small amount of earthquakes there in the region. Uh, California, West Coast, say about the same. Haven't seen any really major increase in movement throughout uh, the state of California. This earthquake up here outside of Mount Shasta, a 3.2 at 75 kilometers. I don't even know if it's been reviewed yet. Let's see if uh, automatic status still. So this is a questionable earthquake. Even uh, who knows if it even happened. Looks like one felt report, but uh, I don't know. Sometimes we get some felt reports from people that um, may not actually have felt it. Uh, some false reporting, but uh, who knows? Uh, we won't know until a seismologist looks at this uh, information and uh, makes a uh, makes a note to the uh, status here, review status. Probably tomorrow should uh, hopefully be reviewed. Uh, let's see, Clear Lake looks like outside of the. Uh, Cobb Mountain region, got a couple earthquakes out there today, a couple twos and ones kicking up. Not a whole lot though. <clears throat> Normally we see a pretty good hefty amount 
A uh, little bit of activity outside of Long Valley Super Volcano here around Mammoth Lakes, a little 2.0, and some other smaller quakes in the region. A little activity throughout the Lone Pine Fault System here. Uh, Owens Valley area south into the Ridgecrest region. Got two earthquakes right here on the uh, Garlock Fault structure. A couple very small ones, but down there around 7 to 9 kilometers on the Shear Fault system here, the Garlock Fault. A little earthquake way out here. Uh, 2.4 looks like. And a little spotty activity today down in the Southern California region here. Pacific side of the plate boundary. Uh, but overall, not a whole lot of uptick at all along the West Coast. Movement throughout uh, Montana down into... Uh, uh, looks like almost down into the Idaho area. Yellowstone National Park not showing anything up here on the map. Let's go ahead and check out the latest Yellowstone overview and see if we got anything uh, worthy to chat about here. Doesn't look like uh, a whole lot at all. Not a whole lot. There's some of the activity from yesterday shown up. Uh, those six pointers and the 5.1 off the coast of the Canada area. Um, looks like maybe maybe over here around the promontory a couple small earthquakes that's very localized movement uh, about five or six of them it looks like one included in there as well that earthquake activity kind of showing up here around lake butte in the borehole area of yellowstone national park but uh, overall no major seismic swarms to note there at yellowstone national park Uh, tremor map from last night uh, still showed some movement there into the Oregon area, uh, about the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone with 138 epicenters of tremor. And uh, Mount St. Helens was showing quite a bit of microquake activity yesterday. Uh, let's see if they have continued into today's time frame. Check out the dome station up here once again. I was up kind of late last night uh, <clears throat> enjoying the rain. Had a nice little bonfire too. We got uh, picked up almost half an inch of rain here uh, in this part of California. Uh, and for us here in June, that's very odd and unheard of. So I appreciate it. But uh, next week's going to cook. Going to have highs around 110. So not good. Earthquake activity. A little bit of movement. See those spikes popping up here on the uh, graph? Those are all little small microquakes overnight in the Mount St. Helens area. See if Earthquakes Canada has anything uh, else to chat about here. Looks like uh, well, not a whole lot. We've got one earthquake here in the purple circle from a couple days ago. Still, they haven't reported uh, any new quakes since then. Let's see what else we got here for any uh, space weather activity. Uh, looks like uh, we did have a little sea flare adjustment here. Looks like that kind of kicked up on the solar X-ray flux map. See the sea kicking up here? Little, little, uh, little C 1.7. It looks like not a big deal. Uh, let's see where this may have came from. Hard to say at the moment. Could have been from a far side sunspot. Not not a whole lot of uh, complex uh, magnetic fields here with these sunspots that are facing Earth. Got a growing one, uh, 3029. Looks like that may be uh, expanding a little bit. We'll keep an eye on that uh, as the days come along. Uh, right now, not a whole lot of probability of flaring. Only 50% chance of a sea flare. Of course, we've seen that... Uh, Earlier this morning time frame, no major coronal holes facing us, only a small amount of um, elevated uh, storming conditions here in the forecast, 45% chance here in the higher latitudes over the next couple, uh, uh, next couple nights it looks like. KP index there pretty uh, mellow at the moment. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to bounce out of here once again and uh, do a little stuff around the house. There's not a whole lot going on. 
uh, today here just gonna take it easy new Madrid zone there wasn't any uh, earthquake activity showing up on the map but I do like to look at it uh, every once in a while to make sure Let's see what we got here around the region a lot of times these little events come in <clears throat> not seeing a whole lot of earthquake activity on any of these stations around the new Madrid zone Alrighty guys, take care, enjoy your Sunday, and uh, stay safe out there. We'll see you back here a little bit later tonight. It looks like a 4.0 coming in right now into the, uh, looks like throughout the Indonesia region there. Uh, latest quake up there on the globe. Alright guys, take care. We'll chat at you a little bit later tonight. Peace out everyone.